Former President Olusegun Gombasanjo has again warned that without restructuring, the country will remain insecure, unstable, stagnated at best, or disintegrate at worst. Gombasanjo said this on Friday during a virtual annual Sobo show and memo lecture organized by the Abekuta Club with the title COVID-19 Pandemic and Nigeria Security Issues, The Way Forward. The former president said he remained a firm believer of the unity of the country and has never lived for the destruction or incapacitation of the country, but hinted that reform of the federating unit is the only way out of the present challenges. He said, the issue of Nigeria's future as a result of our current security situation must not be taken non-seriously, as I see it as a matter of life and death for a country which must not be toyed with. My personal conviction is that with the experience we have had operating the, U the current constitution where we have seen some important aspects of the constitution being breached willfully and wantonly, and with the center seemingly being overwhelmed by the issue of security, with crying need from different quarters for reform of the basic structure of Nigeria's federating unit. There is need for the repositioning of our country for the purpose of unity, equity, competence, good governance, security, stability, health, competition, justice, fast socioeconomic development, and making Nigeria indisputed regional leader. And as a regional leader, Nigeria must always be at the table and be an effective contributor to global decision making process and adequate share in worldwide division of labor and global resources. I remain firmly convinced that without reform of federating units, as I would like to satisfy those who may not like the world restructuring, Nigeria will remain insecure, unstable, non progressive, and stagnated at best or disintegrated at the worst. I have not lived for the demise of Nigeria nor for its destruction or incapacitation in any form. Rather, I have lived to make and see a great and united country. Preparing over the obvious cracks in Nigeria's policy is not the answer. Tearing up or seeking disintegration is also not the solution. Remaining silent makes us accomplices and irresponsibly so. The solution lies in men and women imbued with courage, nationalism, patriotism, commitment, foresight, and love in critical mass to spearhead the crusade for new Nigeria. Let us launch and promote such a crusade on the slogan, Security Matters to All. No security, no Nigeria, and the time is now. Delay is postponing the evil day. Now, no part of the country can claim to be safe for the menace and insecurity caused by terrorists, armed robbers, armed human traffickers, kidnappers of all sorts, castle rustlers, insurgents, bandits, and headsmen, and farmers' conflicts. We are all challenged to put our thinking caps on, join hands, and seek solutions together. Otherwise, we will be destroyed piecemeal. There is no time to stand and stare or just to continue to call on governments that are ineffective. Let us take initiative and spearhead actions that will involve governments and the governed, and we develop security architecture, apparatus, arrangements, and responsibility in subsidiarity, in subsidiarity and also making sure that things work for all, not just for some people, for all. Obasanjo said. Hmm. So guys, uh, Obasanjo has come, you know, with, I think in Inertia is restructuring, but he, he has now found out that some people don't even like that word. They don't just like it at all. And that's why he's trying to still modify it. But at the end of the day, it still means the same thing. Where every region we have their, they will be autonomous in what they are doing and they will be able to decide for themselves. But the unfortunate thing there is that I don't even know whether this government, the whole Nigeria, whether they are not going to leave this this seat or whether they're not going to leave the the, the government seat. I don't understand because the way they, they look at everything as if they are in charge. They don't know that you just do your your bits and you leave. But the way and manner as this uh, Buari government has been, 
you know, position itself as if they own Nigeria that then after 20, 2023, they will see they're still going to be there because you could see the arrogance and I don't care attitude. It's just all over them. And most of what Obasanjo has uh, said, you know, all these things that he has said, you know, we have all, we all used to this uh, b blowing baby grammar every now and then. Blow grammar, blow grammar. You know, when they talk about all this, is a well articulated. Oh my goodness. Even if uh, anybody from a developed country wants, wants to see this kind of a statement coming out from this, our leader, you just like, wow wow but all of this is it will be said and there will be no action that will back it no action to back it or at all very beautiful speech you uh, you see there but ability to be able to put it in in place even if uh, the worry himself anytime he's been asked to come and give a speeches he will read 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 read, read. you just like wow but in reality zero nothing they will just say it and and that's it and that's it of course, you've heard what he said. That is what everybody has been saying. I don't know how, how, how as we uh, we we need to say this. Who is going to say it and what? Like uh, this issue of restructuring, they don't even believe in it. You ask uh, Oshiba Jonah, he will tell you that uh, different people with different meanings meanings to this uh, this issue of uh, restructuring that it means different things to different people. Okay, what does it mean to you? Because they told us that in their manifesto they have it. Now, Oshibajo is telling us that uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, cut down our expenses, that the cost of governance in this country is too expensive. And he has already told us the solution, but he said the people who are to initiate this whole thing, that they will not do it. So, the, he has already told us the obstacle there. And the people who are concerned, so everybody, is just they are just pushing it. The lawmakers are saying, you know, it is the work of the executive. It has to start from there. No, the executive is saying that it is the uh, legislature of the, this thing that will do it. So, who, they are not passing the whole thing. And that means, that is how it's going to be. That is how it's just going to be. Now, ask about restructuring and they will feign ignorance that they don't even know what you are talking about. That they will ask 10 people, that 10 people will Tell you different meaning of a, a of restructuring. You talk about state policy for where they will not agree to that. You talk about this. No, 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 no. Then what is the way forward? Nothing. Everybody is just going there. You will do like I said. You will do your own bit. That as as you are in that government, the worst part of it is that if you see the the juicy package they take home monthly. You just like what is happening? That's that's just what they are just after. When they just so they get what they want to get, they will just be talking, 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 talking before their tenor will go, and and that's it. And they will come and be bragging. Yes, I did this, I did this, I did that. At the end of the day, it has amounted to nothing. All of them, whether Obasanjo, whether Good Luck, all of them, they have failed us. Even the ones, the one in the military during the military, all of them, they still serve during the military. So. How do we move from here? That is the problem. People have talked, people have said many things. Buhari and the Kaaba, they are, they are on different, they are on, 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 this, uh, on different uh, planets. They are not in this planet at all because I don't know what they are up to. They, what they are up to, I don't just, I can't just really relate to that. I thank God that uh, we still have uh, people like Obasanjo and Kano of Hypop. For this God, we give uh, more years. Let people talk. Obasanjo has stressed on restructuring. Fulani are saying that they were born to rule cows and not Nigeria. God, please have mercy. Do something. Your people are perishing. Okay? Uh, let us take initiative and spearhead action that will involve government and the governed and devolve security architecture apparatus. Arrangements and responsibility in subsidiary, OB, says OBG. Nothing much to say than what has been said. President Muhammad Buhari should listen to the voice of God through men. Of course, he will not listen to him. <laughs> listen to Obasanjo. He, he will never do that. Okay, Nigeria is already disintegrated and washed up. Washed up. Mm. Uh, people who are following Awusafu Lani Buhari already a failure for 200 generations to come. They will not listen. They won't even do anything. And we hope that maybe by the time they leave, other people that will come, maybe those ones will be able to reason well and put things straight. Because everybody will just be like, I don't understand. They want to start all over again. This uh, continuity is a big problem to them.
I just want to do my own so that it will be said that during my time I did this, I did this, I did that. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what Obasanjo has said. Leave your comment below and let's have your take.